welcome back to another video um this week i am doing a sketch with me um if you don't know me by now my name is michelle if you're new to this channel um and uh yeah i do a lot of art related content on here drawing and maybe one day i'll post an animation on here because i am an animation student or i went to college for animation i should say that and um yeah but uh today i'm just sketching um drawing some sketches in my uh my sketchbook and things like that um i don't know i haven't been really i don't know i've been having a weird thing with digital art lately like i don't really want to finish a drawing and i've been doing so many commissions i think that's why also is this has me in an art block of knowing what i want to draw um so yeah i've been i've heard from somebody i watched somebody's video why i think i was watching them sketch they said if you are ever going through an art block you know try something different that's also creative but it's not in the usual norm of what you usually do so i usually do digital art so i decided to go back to traditional um try it out i've been watching a lot of lemon gotchas uh sketchbooks tours and sketchbook drawings and i'm obsessed with her sketchbook setup and everything so i've been watching a lot of her and i was like okay let me just do my own um and uh yeah so i started off with this girl at the bottom i all these references are based on um pictures i found on pinterest um but yeah i found her i her facial expression was interesting to me so i wanted to draw her but um i don't know she didn't turn out like the picture like the facial expression i don't think i read it it reads well that's what i should say i don't know if it reads well so yeah but um yeah i liked how her hair turned out pretty much um, i haven't done such a, something that extravagant with hair in a long time um i keep my hair really basic nowadays especially when i do digital art um i find when i do traditional art i have more fun with drawing all these outlandish hairs not outlandish not outlandish just, they're more um detailed needed and things like that so I had fun drawing her hair and things like that and uh yeah um my nemesis is always drawing the other eye um when it comes to faces and then knowing how far that space in between the nose and the mouth is always throwing me off so I usually have to erase those between those two things on the face is always like trips me up a little bit and I always have to redo those when it comes to doing traditional even digital but um digital I could just you know move it up transform tool um everything in traditional is a lot more you have a, a longer process to do everything so yeah but uh yeah i'm happy about how these sketches came out in the end um i love the spread i never really use both sides of a sketchbook when i do sketch um in my sketchbook which is rare um i usually use one side because i don't know i just can't imagine sketching sometimes so long filling up a whole like spread like this like how lemon gotcha does but um i was really proud of how this turned out and i'm proud of myself for finishing a whole spread but um yeah um a lot has been uh, well yeah i guess a lot has been going on um that's probably also we you know making my art block happen um i've been a lot uh, I told you guys I've been busy with a lot of commissions and things like that. And so, yeah, that's been, like, you know, draining my creative process, especially digitally. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I just haven't wanted to draw. Any, or any time I have an idea to draw something, I'm like, mm, I don't know if this is going to be a good idea. I don't know if anybody's going to watch this. And then I don't know if anybody's going to really like it. I don't know if it's going to turn out good if I'm going to waste all my time drawing it and they're not going to like it in the end. Um, so, yeah. That's also been a props problem and a overthinking thing I do that is bad when I am about to draw. But, um, yeah, I've been um, working commissions, like I said. And then that is mainly it. Um, and then working on um, animations for other people. The thing is, um, I am happy to have all this work, but I have no time to work on my own animation. I, like I told you guys in the last week's video, I wanted to do a 24-hour um, animation uh, 
trying to make an animation 24 hours and I didn't get to do that because I was so busy that weekend and that week in general and you guys saw in the vlog but I just wish I had a little bit more time in the day um I probably would if I just had the thing is I wake up early because I have to wake up my brother now for school and I wake up around like 8 or yeah 7 20 or 7 30 and then I can't get myself out of bed for some reason well I know I can't get myself out of bed because I go to sleep late the night before so I don't go to sleep like four sometimes maybe five if I'm watching something that's keeping me up that long and that's usually the problem so I need to it's a bad cycle that now I can't get that get out the habit and then I wake up in the morning to wake my brother up barely and then I go right back to sleep once he leaves at around like 8 15 and then it's I don't know it's, a, it's an awful cycle because then I sleep till 1 or 12 o'clock in the afternoon and then I'm left with like what 12 hours to really do any productive work or I'm not like eventually when I see everybody going to sleep I'm like oh okay it's time for me to go lay down too the thing is I sit in bed and I probably watch YouTube videos or listen to music until like 4 or 5 or I watch something on TV like I've been watching The Housewives um and that's been also keeping me reruns of the housewives of potomac and that's been uh keeping me up till five in the morning because i can't every time they show like what's gonna happen in the next episode i have to watch so that's also like really bad for me i need to stop watching things at night or just i have insomnia too so i should not be on a device at all at night so it's just a lot of things that keep playing into my bad sleeping schedule cycle so that is also I feel like hindered my drawing and my room is a mess I bought a couple clothes and I did laundry and now I just I don't know where to I need to clean my closet still because when I go out I don't really take the time to fold things back when I'm picking out clothes so now my closet's messy the top my side of the closet because I share with my other brothers and then my clothes I put in my desk chair so that's why I haven't been really drawing at my desk until this video I just cleaned it up and I mean I didn't really clean it up I moved all my clothes from my chair to my bed so while I'm drawing I could you know sit but it's a bad it's a bad I need to you know organize my thoughts and then organize my room and I feel like that would help me get into a better mental space to draw traditionally again um this is so much happening too because we also have like a moth infestation in our house like pantry moths like i bought a bunch of like things to bake with and things like that and i guess you know make my flower it's not open i mean it was already because i opened it and i used it but i rolled it back up and moths have been breeding on it so that has been a problem and now we have like a whole bunch of moths i had to buy moth traps and moth balls and a bunch of things just so i could get them out and they like attack they don't attack you because moths don't really do anything but they're just scary so i don't like anything i don't like bugs so that's like a whole other problem so i'm scared to go out into my kitchen i'm scared to go to the bathroom and we don't keep our bedroom door open we all like hide in our rooms and um we have to, my mom's over here looking for an exterminator but I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. The, the bugs are throwing me off too mentally. I just, I can't. Because <laughs> we live in Georgia and it's just like a lot of, it's hot as the summer and then there's bugs. And this is why I don't like summertime. I like the idea of summer, but I do not like actually being in summer. So, but yeah, that is the whole spiel on where I've been and what I've been doing. Um... Yeah, sorry for the late upload this week again, but it's a Saturday upload, so you guys should be able to watch it with no problem. Um, I know school started back here on the East Coast, or should I say the South, the Southeast Coast, because in New York, they have not, they don't start until September, um, back when I lived up there. I mean, they still do that now. My sister's, a, not my sister, my aunt's a professor, so I know, but yeah, school has started now. And, um, but the thing, other thing I want to talk to you guys about is wanting to, I want to start another series on this channel, like how I'd have the Brat series. I really want to do something like that again, because it did so well. 
and I just really had fun drawing the I had way too much fun drawing the brats so I want to do something like that again in my own style so I want to do I don't know I want to, if I did like the Disney princesses I want to do them like in a modern retake and then in my style also but still keeping true to what they look like and you know how they dress and things like that so you can still tell who they are um and yeah that's what I wanted to do um, I also wanted to do like a sketchbook thing because I do want to start drawing sketch in my sketchbook a lot more and filling this up before the end of the year. I mean, I'm halfway through, but it's a lot of like nonsense drawings and pages I could fill up more. Like how I filled up this whole spread of a page, I want to do that more. Um, I usually just draw on one side and I make a mistake or do one thing on one page and I just don't want to touch it again. So I need to stop doing that and then I want to finish a sketchbook. So I wanted to do something like a sketchbook, finish doing, drawing my sketchbook for a week, something like that, or uh, drawing my sketchbook every day for a month. So I don't know. I, don't, I just want to, I just want to do a different, another series on something. I just love series and things like that. So, um, yeah, something to keep me dedicated to drawing something each week. And, uh, yeah, that's what I've been also thinking about. So, if you guys have anything you want me to draw every week, like one video every week, like I, how I did the Bratz series, uh, let me know. Um, I know I do the drawing my childhood cartoons. I do that, all, um, what, twice a month or once a month? So, I try to, um, keep that because I have a lot of childhood series. So, I like to keep that as, like, the back burner of, uh, videos I could do. And then, um... I mean, because I have to do it eventually, but I have so many of them, I could keep doing them. Um, I watched a lot of cartoons as a kid, but um, yeah, so I I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let me know, but um, yeah, other than that, this hasn't been, that's, that's all that's really been going through my head mostly. Oh, I found tarot cards. Um, I've been watching a lot of tarot card videos also. On YouTube, I didn't even know this was a thing. I didn't know you could do it on YouTube. I thought you would have to go to, to a place and you know do your tarot card reading, but you could do it on YouTube from your home. I, did, I think that's really cool. Um, I didn't know about that. I just found out about that last night when I should have been sleeping. See, this is the problem, and I ended up staying up to 5 a.m. watching tarot card readings. <laughs> so, yeah, I yeah, that's another thing I found, and uh, yeah, um. I've also been wanting to, I don't know, I wanted to update my shop, um, but I don't want to do it, I want to update my shop, but I just don't want to do it where it's going to be expensive, um, I have a lot of stock still from all my other, from my, all my other, um, like my charms I still have a lot of, my prints I still have a lot of, like I've only sold like two or three prints. And I've sold like a couple of charms and mostly clay pins, but I want to make more charms because I like the charms. That's my favorite part. And then I love making prints, art prints, but they cost a lot of money. Just shipping them is $7. So the, and then it's like $10 or $9 per page I want to print. So, I mean, I don't know. I kind of want to just sell this stock before I you know but it's not selling that's the thing I don't know I don't know what to do I want to make more stuff but nobody's really buying it so that's the sad thing but uh yeah maybe 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 by the end of this um or maybe by the end of the summer because if I say I was gonna say maybe by the end of this month I would start coming up with new ideas and maybe purchasing some more things but I don't know I just want to get rid of the stock I have because I have it everywhere I don't have it everywhere, but it's a lot of it. They're not a lot. I don't know how to say. It. It's just uh, it's always like in my way. So the stock of stuff I have. So I just want to sell it and get it out of the way. But uh, yeah. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, you guys are amazing. I love you guys. Um, thank you for waiting for so long for a video. I mean, it wasn't that long, but I posted early last week, and then I posted late this week, so I don't know. But um, thank you guys for your support and watching my videos. I love you guys. Oh, and thank you guys for 697 subscribers last time I seen it. 
um that's crazy we're almost at 700 i feel like i barely posted but i think i've posted every week and uh yeah thank you guys that's that's crazy we're almost at 700 like again like we keep hitting each milestone within every everything every month we've hit a milestone so you guys are incredible i love you guys thank you and i'll talk to you guys next week bye guys I've been thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself. I wonder how it would pan out if I stuck to the status quo and stayed in England. Never know, but when I see my friends, I see them with this golden glow. It seems they can touch the rainbow. I guess I'll never know, never know, never know. Would that be me? If I stay. In my city Red, blue and green Is that how my life would be? Is that how my life would be? And often we're reminded to enjoy each day And find it in ourselves to show some gratitude For every moment through and through I try so hard to just be present Mom will slip the adolescence I can't help but wonder But I guess I'll never what the other book looks like city Ryan Little. <laughs>